around just discovered this spot the other day pretty cool it's basically just like an oversized puddle out here but it's actually kind of expansive you can see it out there and i was down here the other day and i saw some tadpoles so that's what we're here for today so for what we're doing today i brought a little net right here just an aquarium net and i also got just a fish bag right here for everything we need and a little pitcher right here in order to hold this in the backpack when we're riding home. I do this all the time when I'm transporting fish on my bike. It's a very secure way to do it and I figure there's no reason to change it for tadpoles. I also brought another pitcher uh, so that I can also collect some leaves and uh, stuff like that from the bottom of the pond so I can use that in the tank to sort of simulate a more natural environment and also seed it with some beneficial bacteria from their habitat here. I used to do stuff like this all the time when I was little so basically what I'm gonna do is just pull across the bottom with this net until we come up with some tadpoles. Just gonna get the net in and pull it across the bottom. That wasn't a great scoop, but we already got a tadpole. It's actually really cool. So I'll need to do some research on what specific tadpoles these are. But this one is quite small, as you can see it hopefully right there. I wanna keep it out of the water for too long. But uh, they are in very early stages of development. Uh, this guy at least is very small. And so I'm just gonna fill a pitcher up with water, put him in there and just hold on to him for now. Um, but he is a little tadpole. So that's really cool. I'm glad we got one and literally just the first scoop. So this pond is definitely loaded with them. So tadpoles, just like fish are pretty delicate. So I'm gonna kind of handle them as little as possible when it comes to like them being in the net or anything like that. I'm just gonna get some water right here. And as you can see, it's full of botanicals and stuff like that. It's a lot of, uh, it's kind of a black water environment. So it's very cool to see. We'll just transfer this guy right here into here. I'm going to turn the net inside out. There's some small water beetles in here, but this is actually very interesting. This is not a uh, frog tadpole. This is a salamander larva. And I'm not super well um, versed in uh, amphibians and stuff like that, but I can actually tell this is not a tadpole. And that's because of the gills you can see right there those are like those feathery structures right there tadpoles that are from frogs frog tadpoles don't have stuff like that and uh, salamander tadpoles do so that's very interesting we already got a salamander larva right here you can see him hopefully right here kind of looks like a baby little axolotl is what they are similar to and i think that's pretty cool i don't know if this is one that we'll keep but it's already really cool that we got something a little bit different So here's what we caught from that one. We caught a tadpole here. So you can see the salamander larva right there and a tadpole right here. You can see the tadpole doesn't have those gill structures that the salamander larva does. You can see this guy right here. Salamander larva looks very different than the tadpole. So that's pretty cool. We got one of each right here and only three scoops in. Also have a lot of these water beetles right here. Probably won't be taking those home. Uh, it might be inevitable that we're gonna catch some on the botanicals and stuff but I'm gonna do my best not to take too many of those guys just cause that's not really what we're looking for today. So this is very interesting right here. We've caught relatively small salamander larvae and small tadpoles, but check out this guy right here. He's much larger salamander larvae right here. So I think he's a little more formed. He might even have some back legs coming in. So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna set him in there. And we actually got a two for one in this scoop right here. We got, let's see if I can find him. There he is, a, another tadpole. So that's very cool. Let me get him, you can see him right here. Another little tadpole right here, slightly larger than the other one. So we're just gonna set him in here as well. So here's something I'm just plain and simple not a fan of, little dragonfly larva. I just do not like these guys. <laughs> They're just kinda a little bit spooky to me. I don't know, I just don't like them. Also they can, have a pretty uh, painful little bite on them. And also these guys are actually the natural predators of uh, these tadpoles and salamander larvae. So even though I don't like them, I am going to get this guy back in the water, even though they can crawl on land, as you can see. It's gonna get this guy in the neck because I don't wanna pick him up. And I'll let him go just because, you know, I'm nice. But I do not really like those guys. But that is a 
uh, interesting look at a natural predator to these guys in a small body of water like this. All right, so in this picture, I've got just all the stuff that I caught and just kind of a bunch of muck from the bottom. And this is a relatively clean bag of water from the pond, which uh, doesn't have very many water beetles or anything like that in here. And this is what I'll be transporting them home in. So I'm just gonna do a little selection, take home what I think I want. I'm just gonna bag these guys up as if they were fish and I'll see you guys back at the fish room. 